Hello guys, so welcome to my channel and to another upgrade unboxing video. And this time I'm even more excited for this box than I usually am because it arrived a little later this month, so I have thought maybe upgrade has forgotten me, but they didn't and here it is. So let's jump right into the unboxing and open it. There is magic inside. Okay, we have some brushes here. However, I don't know what brand these brushes are because I don't speak whatever this language is. So I guess we'll have to wait for the bottle post here. And I definitely want to know what kind of magic is inside. So let's open this. The color is, by the way, absolutely my vibe. Oh my god, we have a sponge. And from the way it looks, I would say this could be actually a natural sponge. I don't know, this kind of freaks me out. So, we have a lot of Turner Acryl Gouache. Oh my god. We have Permanent Scarlet, Permanent Lemon, Sky Blue, and Opera Red, whatever that is. Oh, it's fluorescent, it says here. I'm excited for this. And we have jet black and a big tube of white. And this is a mechanical pencil, I guess. A Pentel Orange 0 0.2. So is it normal that the tip comes out and goes back in if I do this? I don't know. And we have a Pilot GTEx C4 ballpoint pen, I guess. Is it? I'm not sure. Well, at least there's ink inside. Let's see what the bottle post says about this one. And yeah, I guess this is some strange looking eyedropper tool. Yeah, it must be an eyedropper. <laughs> I love the artwork and Upgrade definitely has upgraded their bottle post game. This looks amazing and it feels amazing. So let's have a look at the topic first. It's let's jump into your Adelaide's world. Okay, I'm confused. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but I guess I have to look into the bottle post to get that. Okay, the brushes are actually by this Turner Color Works Limited brand and they are specifically made for the Turner Acryl Gouache. By the way, the color selection of the gouache seems to be huge and they have a lot of special shades like pastel or this one seems to be glittery, I don't know if you can see it. So for those of you who don't know what uh, acryl gouache is, regular gouache can be reactivated with water. Acryl gouache, however, is water resistant. So once it dries, it's dry and you can reactivate it. So that's the main difference between these two kinds of gouache. Okay, this ballpoint pen is actually a gel ink pen with an ultra fine point of 0 0.4 millimeters. So I'm excited for this one. So this one is, as I said, a mechanical pencil, but it seems like this one is a very complicated mechanical pencil because we have one whole page with instructions on how to use it. And I will check that out later. So, and we have 
three sheets of paper with a very fine textured surface. Let's see what kind of paper that is, but it's rather thick, so I would suppose it's watercolor paper. And yes, it is. It is the Saunders Waterford Hot Press paper with 300 GSM. Wow, and it seems to be really high quality because 20 sheets retail for $49.99. I would never get paper that's this expensive, so I shouldn't waste it. <laughs> Oh, and it's 100% cotton. This is actually a natural sponge. I'm not sure how I feel about this because, I don't know, at one point this thing was alive and now it's not. I'm not exactly happy about this, but, well, it says it can hold more water than artificial sponges, but I think, for me personally, an artificial sponge would have been fine or even better. And underneath the paper we have some really cute stickers and a double-sided artwork. Oh, okay, Upgrade now includes posters. That's cool. And it's double-sided. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> and here's the artwork I was looking for. I really love the style of this piece. It's a little creepy, but I think that's what makes it special. And this is probably the Instagram handle of the artist. So, let's start swatching the materials. First we have the Pentel Orange Mechanical Pencil. So you can actually make really, really tiny lines with this one. And I'm not sure what kind of lead it is, but since the graphite looks really dark, I suppose that's a rather Soft pencil lead? I don't know. However, speaking of pencil leads, there were no spare leads included, which is kind of sad because when I'm done using the lead that's inside of here, I have to buy new ones just to be able to use this pen because I don't have 0.2 leads at home. So I wish they included some spare leads instead of the that Spongebob. But anyway, it works like a regular pencil. And here's actually a special hint. Please do not advance the lead beyond the pipe. So next up we have the gel pen. And this one is tiny as well, so let's see. I'm really impressed by this pen because it's so tiny. You can make super, super detailed marks with it. Yeah, I really love it. And I'm happy they included it because I have only the kind of gel pen which make like super wide lines. Now let's test the gouache and I will use my acrylic paint palette with it since you can't reactivate it. So I'm sorry my palette looks a little gross but that's just the way it is. So let's start with Opera Red. So that definitely did not exaggerate with fluorescent, because it's like really fluorescent. And um, let's see, which brush should I use? Let's go for this one. I think I'll add the other paints as well, so I have everything ready. So let's use the paint without water first. I love this paint. It looks super cool. So let's dilute it. Okay, this looks more pinkish to me than red. Whatever. It's super bright and I like it. Oh, and I forgot to put Permanent Scarlet on my palette. So let's do it now and compare these two. Oh, that's a pretty color. 
and it looks way more red than the other paint. So let's use some water. This yellow is also super bright, so in my opinion this could also be a fluorescent color, but it's not. No, it's not. So here we have sky blue. And last but not least, we have white, so I guess you can't see it. But let's apply it on top of another color. This one should be dry already. The red is also dry. Okay, the blue was not 100% dry. However, you can already see how opaque the white is. So I definitely like the white paint. Let's see if black is just as opaque as the white. It is! So let's dilute the black as well. For my painting, I wanted to work on an idea that the artist of the month has used in their artworks. There were little flower creatures that have eyes and I thought one of these creatures had a boss, like a flower that has even more human-like features and can talk to humans. So I developed a sketch of how such a flower boss might look like. Let's talk about the materials that were included in the box. The mechanical pencils seemed a little complicated at first, since there was one whole page with instructions in the bottle post, but in general you could sum it up with a sentence on the sticker Please do not advance the lead beyond the pipe. And apart from that, you can use it like any other mechanical pencil you know. It worked absolutely fine and it's crazy how detailed you can draw with it. As I said before, I only wish Upgrade had included some extra leads to refill the pencil with. And speaking of the bottle post, this was the first issue in the new look and oh my god, it's such an upgrade. It's a whopping 100 pages long and they really dive into the art style of the featured artists. From concept sketches to the finished artworks, it's all there. And I absolutely love it because it gives me the opportunity to gain a deeper understanding of how the artist works and how they develop their artworks. So that's a great source for inspiration. And it's almost like an art book about the style of the artist. Of all the upgrade boxes I have received, this one is my favorite. The bottle post is great, the art style of the featured artist really resonates with me, but what really makes this box my favorite is the materials. They just work so well together. You get a pencil for sketching, a selection of different brushes that, by the way, did not lose a single bristle. You get a selection of paint that, with a little knowledge of color theory, gives you all the freedom you can possibly wish for, since you get the primary colors, an almost neon pink color plus white plus black. And they even thought of including white in a bigger tube than the other paints, since you need a lot of white for mixing when using gouache. And you get a gel pen for details, and a sponge for special effects, and an eyedropper, and super high quality paper. As much fun as it is to work with a limited color palette, I love to have the freedom to use any colors I want, so color selection 10 out of 10. And the choice of the medium also gets a 10 out of 10 from me, because it solves the main problem I have with regular gouache. I have worked a lot with this medium in the past and I really love it, but when adding another layer, I have often accidentally reactivated the layer beneath and colors started mixing or it looked streaky after I reactivated the paint in a specific area on purpose and let it dry again. So basically, I love the look of gouache, but I'm not a fan of reactivating the colors because I just can't make it work. And the acrylic gouache solves this problem because it looks like gouache, it feels like gouache, but it's permanent. You just can reactivate it and that's great. And I'm actually feeling a little dumb right now because I knew that acrylic gouache was out there 
and how it worked, but I didn't try it because I just didn't realize how much it could improve my gouache painting experience. So I'm really, really happy that Upgrade chose acrylic gouache for this box and solved this problem for me. I had a really great time painting and just did whatever felt right. And I'm especially proud of the background because generally I'm one of these people who just leave the background white and put all the energy in the main subject of the artwork. But this time I actually managed to paint a proper background and it didn't even turn out that bad. The green texture I created with a sponge actually looks like a hedge, so I will definitely keep that technique in mind for future artworks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more art content. Have a great day. Bye guys.